guys, my name is Brianna and this video is what I am packing in the hospital bag for me when I'm having my second baby. So I love watching other mama's videos because I always feel I hear something new that I didn't originally think of to put in my hospital bag. And as a second time mom, a lot of second time mom's hospital bag videos I watch, they are very bare bones. <laughs> I just don't think that's me. Like I always am very well planned, want everything just in case. So my bag is probably a little more on the heavy side. There might be some things I end up not using, but I feel like having gone through this once before, I know that I will be prepared no matter what. Let's dive into this bag. Okay, so first I have almost everything packed, but there are a couple of items I just have on a throw in the bag at the last minute. Like my makeup bag will be something I'll grab at the last minute and just throw in the bag. But the first thing I have packed, it's actually in <laughs> another big bag, which will double when you get the extra diapers and pads. And I think they give you dermaplast and usually one of those water bottles for yourself postpartum. I wanted some extra space to put all of that extra gear in. So bringing in extra bag, but in it right now for the car ride, I have some towels because when your water breaks, you want to make sure you have towels in the car or in case your water breaks, have towels in the car. I'm also bringing garbage bags because also, again, if you're leaking, I will like lay the garbage bag down first on the seat and then the towel over it just so the towel can be absorbing anything and this protects the seat. This is an essential. If you have not packed this, you need to go out and buy yourself one. But we're bringing a bottle of champagne to toast Miss Presley and her arrival into this world and to celebrate this special moment in our life and so that I get my first glass of champagne in almost 10 months here. And then I'll probably just leave by the door so we can like throw it in whichever car we end up taking. Other thing I will be bringing is my own pillow and I got a pillowcase that's going to match my delivery gown and robe that I got and also Presley's first sleeper that she'll wear. I just like being able to bring my own pillow for extra comfort. Here is my delivery outfit. First thing I got is some labor socks. They say it's a girl and the little stickies on the bottom. They're really cute. I had a pair of these in blue for Landon that said ready, set, push but I thought I'd get the It's a Girl one this time. And then again, this is my matching gownie. I had the blue and white polka dotted one for Landon and decided to keep up the tradition for Presley. So she gets the pink and white polka dotted one. And this is from Baby Be Mine and I really love it because the snaps make it super easy to have that cuddle time right after they're born where they lay the baby right on your bare chest and also really easy for nursing afterwards too. To go along with that, I got the pink polka dotted robe that matches it, just because I do feel like you basically could live in just the robe if you wanted to after the delivery. And because the gown is likely going to have blood and other fluids on it, this way I can still be matching Presley when we put her in her first outfit and my pillowcase and you know, OCD me, everything has to match. But I got the blue one for Landon and I ended up wearing it a ton the entire time at the hospital too, so. I know I will use it. Other really important item is I have this file folder and it has like my birth plan, our like insurance information, the hospital registration info. So I recommend just having a file folder in your hospital bag with birth plan, insurance, and any kind of hospital forms that you've been asked to fill out. Some more hospital items. This time around, just because <laughs> I decided just to get a really comfortable black and this is really soft material. This is also from Baby Be Mine, I believe. Yeah, I got another one from Destination Maternity too that's also like black. Um, just because you are bleeding for a lot of weeks afterwards and black obviously shows stains less. So figured this would probably be good for me to put on immediately after delivery with that pink polka dotted robe over it, but just something black and super easy to nurse and really comfortable. Then I did get this really cute PJ set. This was also from Baby Be Mine. I love the little pink buttons on it, but the bottoms are like long gray polka dots just because in case the hospital's cold, I can even put these on underneath the gown. But it came with a really nice pink and it sort of has the scrunch so you can pull it down really easily to nurse. So have that set of pajamas. Then just to match some of Presley's outfits because she has a hot pink one, I got these, they're really comfy. They're like a silky material, but it's just a black and it's a button down pajama set. Since I am delivering her in May, the weather 
likely will be a little bit warmer and I know they keep the baby ward really really warm temperature so I actually wanted one pajama set that was shorts and again went for black just because I know I will be bleeding quite heavily after labor and also wanted the buttons for ease of nursing but thought that this was like a cute way to feel kind of cute and match what Presley is wearing too. I know I'm so weird. This is like a absolute must have. I know the hospital gives you those netted panties, which are great, but I do just because I know we'll have visitors and because like if I'm wearing the nursing net gown or something else, like to have an extra layer of protection. So I got like extra large, some boy shorts and some like briefs from Target. They were super inexpensive. I got four pairs all in black just so that I have that extra layer to kind of wear over the diaper and the netted underwear that the hospital gives you that's really see-through. So just so that I'm a little more covered up. Then I'm bringing a sleeping nursing bra just in black and super comfy. This is actually one I had from Landon. I just rewashed it. Even though I'm going to use all my nursing bras from Landon too, I did buy two new ones for this pregnancy um just because i feel like it's less wash i will have to be doing then because you do leak um but i got a gray striped and then this is like a pink and it's slightly like navy blue stripes but these are my favorite maternity bras from target the brand is i think it's gillian and o'malley gilligan and o'malley so the gilligan and o'malley <laughs> So the Gilligan and O'Malley, they don't have the underwire, which clogged my ducts really bad last time. So I would highly recommend if you're a new mommy looking at these, they are not as expensive as some other sites are for their maternity bras. They have the great little latches so you can just unhook them and nurse really easy and they're super comfortable. And honestly, the ones I had with Landon, I was wearing for over a year because I nursed him until 15 months and they still are lasting. Like nothing is stretched out. It's really, I don't think you could get a better nursing bra for the money. Also in line with the nursing, brought my little bamboo bee pads. I love these like washable ones because I think they're really absorbent. I know a lot of people really like the disposable ones because they have the plastic covering. I honestly never leaked that much that I had to worry about having a plastic covering. Like these are really thick to me. So I just preferred using ones that I could wash. Then I brought some, whoop, hitting myself in the face. Um, then I brought some flip flops for in the shower at the hospital just because it's gross to me to go completely barefoot in the hospital shower. I, don't know. I brought my glasses. I got just like a little on the go shampoo, conditioner, and hairspray kit. So I remember how refreshing that shower was after labor. It was just so nice. And actually, with the amount of visitors that I know will be coming, it just felt really good to feel like, okay, my hair is washed and cleaned blow dried. <laughs> That's another item I will be throwing in as we're leaving for the hospital is my curling iron. I then have these little fluffy slippers that I got for the hospital. I don't like wearing ones that like fully cover my feet. I actually always prefer to be more like barefoot than have socks but I love these because they're really cozy with the fur but still are open toed. This is my toiletry bag. Let's see what I got in here. This is an essential. This is bamboo bees. It's their organic nipple balm. And I'm not sponsored by any of these products, guys, but I'm not going to lie. This is one, if you want to partner with me, I will sing your praises because it's prevented my nipples from cracking, bleeding. It doesn't stick to my nursing bras because sometimes the other lanolin stickier ones will stick to the fabric and be really uncomfortable. So. This is good stuff. I highly suggest if you haven't gotten nipple balm yet, try the bamboo bees. Also shower products, um, and I couldn't not get this. They're the sweet pea scent from Bath and Body Works because we're gonna be having our sweet little pea. I have some Batiste dry shampoo, Q-tips. I always need them for my ears. I feel like I always need to clean out my ears at least once a day. Bring in a razor, armpit hair, is not my thing. I have two different kinds of lip balm because I know it's so needed for both labor and after labor. You're just so dehydrated during both labor and nursing. Some keep me clean wipes. This is some thermal spray for my hair because hopefully I'll do it after that first shower. <laughs> Toothbrush, face lotion, face wash. I have some extra contacts as well as contact case solution deodorant claw clip for my hair and nail clippers and nail file for myself in case i need them because i just would hate 
either myself or Adam, you don't ever, like if I were to break a nail or if Adam's nails were to be long or something, you want them cut so you don't accidentally scratch the baby. I just brought some cashews. I know my husband and I both really like snacking on nuts. Um, then I got some salted caramel protein bars, Nutri-Grain bar. Our hospital had a really great menu of food and we could order as much as we wanted, as many times as we wanted. They had a lot of fresh fruits and things like that. So I feel like we didn't end up needing a lot of snacks, but figure it's not a bad idea no matter what. Then I brought in some pink napkins and I'm gonna buy them <laughs> closer to my due date, but I'm gonna get some donuts as a thank you for the nurses just to have a like donut know what we'd do without you. Thanks for helping deliver baby pee sort of gift for the nurses and hospital staff because they really do take such good care of you at the hospital. I'm bringing an extra camera battery that's fully charged so that we can capture all of these moments with Presley. I also haven't thrown them in yet because I'm still using them to charge things on a pretty much daily basis, but my phone charger, camera charger, those are all going to be thrown into this bag and kept really close to where the hospital bag is in the weeks moving forward. One other thing I have on my list that I didn't pack yet, I'm gonna put some extra thank you cards in my hospital bag as well for anyone who does come and visit Presley to write out those thank you cards while in there and get those sent off and get a jump on them. This is the final couple of items. I'm bringing a couple of options for going home just because I'm not quite sure one, how the weather will be or how I'll be healing at that point. So I have one really soft, loose, they are like, they're not maternity, but they fold down over because I know your belly. If I were to need a C-section or something like that, wouldn't want anything touching the incision. But these are just really comfy, loose black pants. Then I also have a pair, they're a little looser, but they have the little leopard on them because Presley's coming home outfit is leopard pants. And I thought I might be able to coordinate with her, especially since these have the fold over too so that it wouldn't be hurting my belly. And my best friend got me this shirt, it says Mama, and Presley's shirt says Mini Mama. So this will kind of be our <laughs> Mama and Mini coordinating going home outfit. There you have it, that is what I'm packing in my hospital bag for myself. Let me know in the comments if there's something I'm forgetting, please let me know in the comments so that I don't forget it. I think I've covered pretty much everything I would need for myself. I will be following up with a video of everything that is in Miss Presley's hospital bag. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you're subscribed and have that bell pressed so you get an alert every time I post a new video so you can check them out. And also, if you have any tips or suggestions of what should be packed in a hospital bag that I didn't mention here, please let me know those in the comments as well so that other viewers looking for a list of items to pack in their hospital bag can read what your suggestions are in the comments as well because what works for you might not necessarily be something I would pack but could be really important to another mama. So I would love to know in the comments what your tips and suggestions to pack in a hospital bag are as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.